Good day. Today I want to introduce you to the Sony DXC1600 portable, battery operated, color video camera. This is a camera that many of you have been waiting for for some time. And we're glad that we're able to introduce it in really an excellent version in 1974. The DXC1600 utilizes our Trinicon single tube concept. The camera head that I have in my hand weighs 7 pounds 11 ounces. Quite light, easy to operate, and can be used for an extended period of time. We've kept the total camera weight in the head down to a minimum, including a lightweight lens that has a range of 18 to 108 millimeter. It utilizes the C-mount concept so that if a customer wants to go into longer lenses or faster lenses, he may in fact do so. This lens is a approximately a 2.5. The camera in, has internally five filter positions so that it can be used with a broad range of conditions. Under fluorescent lights, for example, under normal tungsten or halogen type lighting conditions, under cloudy or sunny day conditions. These conditions, as lighting conditions, are enumerated on the back of the color camera so that the operator can, in fact, simply flip from filter to filter as the light conditions require. Like our 3400 camera before it in the black and white version, it's quite similar. It has a trigger operation which, which engages the video tape recorder and starts it to in record mode. And it has an indication lamp under this snap viewfinder to indicate that you are, in fact, record position. The playback, of course, for the viewfinder is in black and white. Making that a one-inch color TV tube is something that we'll introduce later on. The CCU for this camera sits before me. And the controls are quite simple. In most situations, the operator will simply set up white balance. These are the two controls for white balance between red and blue channels and a small meter indicated to your right. Essentially, what the operator does is that under his existing light condition, outdoors, indoors, tungsten, fluorescent, he will focus on a white card and move these two potentiometers until the meter goes down as far to the uh, left as possible. The other controls on the camera control unit are pedestal level and chroma level. Normally, these controls will be preset and they have a detent stop on them. However, if you are using this camera with other cameras, such as our DXC1200, we offer these controls so that you can balance two machines. The video level can be either AGC or manually controlled. Once again, a feature that uh, you may want for different lighting conditions or use with one or two cameras. We have the viewfinder monitor output is either switchable from the video tape recorder or the camera position here. And by switching this back and forth, the display in the viewfinder of the camera will show either the video tape recorder or the actual camera output itself. The internal connections are quite simple. We have a multi connector cable to go directly to either our VO3800 or our AV8400. We have the camera cable input. We have an external sync input when you're using the camera with more than uh, one device, uh, such as the 1200 or two of these. We have a standard coax video output. This DC input gives us the power from either the AC power supply or from optional battery DC levels that will be offered uh, as accessories. The battery case, which is located in here, and I don't have one in front of me, I'm sorry to say, but fits in here, provides one hour of recording without recharging. Moving over, this is the AC adapter for the unit. The AC adapter, of course, can be used as a battery charger itself and, and will, ex will internally charge the battery that's in the camera control unit 
or you can add a second battery to the outside so that you can charge two, kit, two batteries simultaneously. In AC operation, you simply have a power switch on and off. This camera, we think, will sell a great deal. Essentially, because of its simplicity in design, the absence of the two tubes makes setup quite simple. And since it is a portable camera and quite subject to jarring and, and, and moving about, convergence of two tubes or three tube cameras is really a serious problem. With a one tube concept, we have eliminated that problem in a battery operated portable camera. The device itself will sell for approximately $5,000. We hope to offer it to you, our dealers, in approximately September of this year. Uh, we're pushing our Tokyo plant to see if they can get them out earlier than that, but we are pretty sure that uh, we will have no difficulty in initial deliveries in September, although total production runs will be limited, and we do anticipate a certain back order condition which I'm sure that you're used to if you've been with Sony for any length of time. I would like to um, elicit your comments about the camera. We do have a few months before actual introduction, and if you have any ideas about features of this camera that you would like to see added later on, or probably even um, incorporated before we do get in final production runs, please let me know. From here, I would like to go on to show you our new battery-operated pneumatic, which is our VO3800 on a separate tape.